Hey guys, what is up? I am Purple Fair Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of the Volts Survival Multiplayer Series. This is recording. Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Volt Survival Multiplayer Series. Today, we're gonna be doing something pretty, pretty cool. Um, we got the doggy dog on the server right now. He's on Volt now. Um. We have all of our horses over here. I think that's... Oh, that's just one that belongs over there. He's just over here for now. Um, but something that we're going to be doing in this episode, we are going to be um, building a mage slash alchemist slash watch slash wizard tower. And um, I want to show you guys the renovations that have been made to the page turner, so let's check that out real fast. Um, he has tier 1s and tier 2s, and I don't think they've been, yeah, they haven't been sorted yet, as you can see. Um, and he's got an upstairs now, which is his, like, little house thing. Uh, actually, hang on, I want to use my resource pack, because I like it more than defense. So, we're going to hop on our little horsey, that is behind our KFC in the horse parking lot. And we're going to go ahead, and also I want to show you guys PFG's big hole. That's what it's called. That's what I decided to name it. So I'm going to show you guys that real fast. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag on the server. I'm not sure why. But it's a fight. It's a fight. It's okay. Um, can I make this jump? <clears throat> California crown better not die. Okay, no he won't. Horses are actually smart in the snapshot, I think. Um, I needed a whole bunch of stone. So I went down with the silk touch pick. All the way down there. Um, so that's great. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stone. So we're going to use that stone. Um, we probably won't be using all of it for our wizard tower. We'll be using some of it for our castle that we will build in the new fu future as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and head over to the village. Um, let's go ahead and park California Chrome. We haven't named him yet, but we will eventually. Um... So we can't sleep because he is AFK on the server. And I think he'll be here all night. In. All right. So we're going to go up there where all of our resources are for this place. Um, also, I made like a little basement in that house. It's nothing special. It took like five minutes to make. And um, I just stored a bunch of furnaces down there for whenever I want like to smelt stuff. So this is everything that we got so far. We got some mossy stone, chiseled stone, cracked stone, stone stairs. Um, we need some wood too. Hang on, let me go. Let me see if I could go grab some oak wood. I'm not sure if I have any, just regular logs. So we're gonna start off by going up this mountain. We're gonna make it on the top, the peak of the mountain. So, cause it's kind of like a watchtower, but I'm gonna be putting like brewing stuff up there as well. Um, so we're going to go up to the peak of the mountain, and we're going to kind of, uh, lay out an area of where we want this thing to be. Um, do I have any dirt? No, I do not. So, let's go ahead and pick where the middle's going to be. Our max is going to be 20 high, so let's just, um, pop it down right here. So, the one, we'll just pillar up with all this spruce. I think that should be good. 13 is actually high enough. For now at least. If we want more, we can always add more. Got feather fallen boots too, so we're fine with that. Yeah, that seems like it's way high enough. I don't know why. Let's go back down and grab some more resources. And we will lay down our base. I just need this for stone brick. Uh, where's all my stone brick? Oh, I need to make some. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Alright. Good. Good, good. And let's grab some mossy stone and some cracked stone as well. Alright, let's get all this useless stuff out of our inventory. Um, get the good stuff in there. Put that out. That in. That out. That in. Alright, that should be good. Um, so let's get to it. I'm excited for this build. I'll probably finish some of it off camera. <coughs> I 
I'm, I apologize. I'm um, uh, I'm a bit ill. Uh. All right. So let's start by making so three by three. That is three by three. So have this right here. This right here. And like so. Yeah, that's four by four. It's gonna be four by four. Actually, no. I think it's gonna be four by five. Or maybe five by five. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five by five. So we're gonna go like so. So let's place that right there and this right here. This right here and this right here. I could also use stairs, but we might add. Um, for now, we're just gonna go like this. And we're gonna implement some cracked and mossy into this. Where's my cracked? Did I have any in here? Oh, uh, let's get some cracked in here. Alright. Where is it? Okay, right there. And place another one of these right there. In the back. Doesn't really matter. Not much is going to be going on in the back. Maybe right here. Love that. And we'll add some bushes too. Um, now let's go up a little bit. We will go up. Um, let's see. Where's our mossy? Alright, right there. And stone brick. Hmm, I have a good idea of what we're going to be doing. And then, yeah, I know what we're doing here. So up there we're going to have a roof, like a roof type of thing. And you guys will see. You guys will see. I know you're tempted. It's going to look really nice though, so that's good. Cracked. Oh, that was a little bit too much mossy, but it's fine. Alright, that's good. Um... We might need some of this spruce wood, actually. Let me see if I can scout out any. Yeah, we have some spruce trees. When in doubt, we can always just go grab some. Alright, cracked. So, whilst I'm building this, I'm going to be telling you guys a little story. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie, but it's called The Fox and the Hound. I mean, if you haven't seen it, it's like a pretty popular Disney movie, basically. Uh, we're gonna go grab some of this spruce wood, by the way, and we have some jungle trees too. So, shh, not touching. Um, basically, what's going on in the fox and the hound is that this fox and this hound they become best friends, and the hound has like um has like a uh, a brother or a fellow a fellow dog that's like a hardcore hunting dog, and the hound, at first, when he's like a little pup, he's friends with the fox, right? Uh, he's friends with the fox. You know, they play around, etc., etc. And then, the, um, the guy basically, like, goes on a hunting trip, or something. He goes on a hunting trip with the hound and the other dog. And, the hound comes back as, like, a hunting dog, right? So, like, he's not a little pup anymore. He's like a big friggin' hunting dog. So, basically, when the fox sees that the hound is back, um, he comes, he goes to the hound's house, and he's like, What's up, bro? You look so big, and you're way older now. Um, and then the hound's basically like, You know, dude, we can't be friends anymore. This isn't gonna work out. Um, I was watching this with my brother and sister. It's not going to work out. I'm a hunting dog now. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to bark or anything. But just letting you know, keep your distance. Basically, that's what he said. Um, so, basically, uh, he wakes up the, the other dog. And the other dog starts barking. Um, and then he's on the run. He's on the run from the other dog. And the hunter tried shooting him. Um, and then basically the other dog falls off of the train thing, and then the hound absolutely despises the fox, so, then, like, the hound wants to kill the fox because it hurt the, the other 
the other little dog thing. Um, and then what happened? Basically, they they set up a trap to go and get the to get the hound. They put up a bunch of bear traps, and something that happened in the middle of this, like the the, the fox was owned by some old lady. Because, like, it needed him, or it needed her because he was getting into trouble, so. Kind of just took him over, and, you know, it's like, it's, it's not a wild fox. I guess it was a home fox. I don't know what to call it, but a home fox. Um, so, basically, in order for the fox to survive, the lady had to put it in the wild, because... If she didn't, then the hunter would come and get it. Um, so when that happened, when she like she started crying because um, she started crying because she had to put the fox in the woods, and you know the fox was like her best friend. She was I don't know maybe her husband died or something, but she didn't have a husband. Um, and during that part, I was about to cry because I'm a softie and. This movie was just way too much for me. I'll just say that right now. So basically, what my story is here is that, um, I cried. I cried like a little freaking baby because of a Disney movie that was made for little kids. So, I am very manly. I am extremely manly. Goblock is a lot on the server right now. Um, but yeah, that was basically my little story. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh. I mean, it's kind of like, so, then, like, after the movie, I got on my computer, and I started talking to Elite Husky Gaming, and, like, we were talking about it, we were talking about the movie because we had nothing else to do, um, I was like, hey, have you seen this movie? And then he's like, yeah, I've seen it. And then I just started breaking down crying in front of him, because I am just such a a softie, and it was just too much for me. I started crying in the Skype call. And he's like, dude, are you seriously crying? And I'm like, yes. I was crying. I'll admit, I cried. <laughs> so yeah, that was funny. That was pretty funny. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Place. No, place. No, okay. No. Darn it. Right there. Why isn't this working? Huh? No, I don't want it like that. Hang on. This little, this little booger's messing with me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's what happened today. Um... A few days ago, no, a few days ago, um, I was pretty sick, I still am kind of sick, but not that bad, uh, that's really all, I hit 200, I've been gaining subscribers like mad, and my little secret for that is, um, I commented, like, I don't spam, I'm not saying this is spam or anything, but I comment on people's videos, like, not anything about my channel whatsoever. Well, one of them kind of was, but I won't count it as spam. Um, like, this wasn't intentional or anything, but... I mean, I guess it happened. Uh, so, what I did, I commented on people's videos. So, like, Kermit Plays Minecraft has, like, a, a KFC on the cube now? And I was like, hey, dude, no way, I have a KFC on my SMP, too. And... That everybody just came flocking to my channel. So that was pretty cool. Uh, what did I do wrong here? It's like that. That. Um. Up, oh, too. Oh, alright. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Then like that. Alright. Okay, now I have to surround the whole entire edge like so. 
Oh, we didn't even finish the walls. Maybe we should do that first. Um, so that's what happened today. Let me think. What else should I talk about while I'm building? It's a little more interesting. Uh, eh. Alright, there we go. Alright, sweet. Sweet, sweet. It looks a little awkward in the front, though, like where that is. Maybe I can make. Some stiff. I can make the magic happen. Eh. Alright, one second. Hang on, I had this, uh. I have to change to. Do not disturb. One second. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Oh, balls. No, why did it start a YouTube video? Okay. I don't even care. Um. So we'll fix this up. Do a little fixing up. Put some slabs there, maybe. I like how this. I thought I heard a creeper. No, why the heaven? Stairs are a little glitchy. They've always been kind of. Difficult though. So, you know, nothing out of the usual. Just my crafting table right here. Um, boop, 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 boom. Alright. Um, jibble. Dirt. Bring me up, dirt. Ah. Uh. Alright, so this leads up to here. Then up here we might just close it off like that. Um. We might have like some wool there or something. No, that's probably going to be where our window is actually because we need a window. Yeah, we're going to have to have a window in this thing. Um. Alright, so where are my slabs? Give me these slabs. Alright. I'm gonna take a cut in one minute and make some progress on this thing, but I just need to fix it. Uh, Alright, there we go. Slab. Alright, sweet. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video right here, and I th think I will show you guys when I've made some progress on this thing. So, yeah, be right back. Okay, guys, we are just about done with this tower, and I will be showing you guys right about now. Looks way better from a distance, so let me do that, but I can't really zoom. But... It looks pretty nice. I'm liking how it turned out. Um, the roof is a little bit hard to see, and I have clouds turned off here because... Hang on, let me turn them on. Oh, yeah, once you're up there, it'll be above the clouds, but... It's really nice. Even though the roof is a little hard to see because it's so up high, it is... If it was down low, it would... You know, it would be good. Um, so let me just give you a little tour. Uh, the only problem that I'm having with this is, like... The front is, like, fatter than the back. It's weird. But, hang on, let me see if I was, if I'm over here. Yeah, you can kind of see a view of the roof. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, um, let me show you the inside. So, you walk inside, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a door or anything. I'm not sure, I might use an iron door, I don't know. And, you go up, up these long flights of stairs. Very long lights of stairs and you basically just come to this top and up here it's basically like a view of everything um but i'm also gonna have brewing stands here and i might as well go do that now but i'm gonna have brewing stands there that's where i'm gonna be doing all of my brewing it's gonna be kind of like um a wizard tower something like that yeah it's probably what it's gonna be like a wizard tower and a watchtower. I don't know. But it looks pretty cool. I think it looks great. 
Um, it's on the highest peak of the mountain, obviously, so we can see everything that's going on. You can see everybody that's coming around, etc., etc. Um, let me see, where's my brewing stand? Okay, hang on, I need to dump some, dump some junk. Let's just, I'll just organize everything later, just dump everything. Alright, I think that's good, okay. Um, alright, let's head up there and we'll move all of our brewing stuff as well, so might as well go get that chest. For our clear inventory, let's just grab it. And down here is our basement, by the way, that I made off camera. It's just nothing special, you know. It's a bunch of fern eye, fern eye furnaces, you know. Alright, so let's go back up to the tower and we will go ahead and place down our brewing stand and our resources. But yeah, I'm really happy with the result. This took about two hours. Um, it would have been faster if I had, like, look at, wow, we used so much. I didn't think we'd, we'd use that much, actually. Like, that was from that PFG's big hole thing. And we used a lot of it. Um, but it would have been faster if we knew how many resources we needed at first. Probably be easier on me. So, I'm just gonna plop this down right here. And then the chest, um, I don't know where we're gonna put the chest. Let's put it, like, right, right there, I guess. You can't open that now. So I will change it to slabs. I don't have any slabs. I'll make some. Alright, let me go to the top so I can make some slabs. Okay, so I'm really happy with the product and the end result of this thing. It's looking, it's looking pretty nice. Um, these are the banners that we have, the custom banners made by my homie block to Zilla. Say hi, Block. I know you're in this call. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! He's muted. Oh, dang it, that doesn't work. Um, made by him. It looks pretty nice. Um, uh, but we're gonna dump all of our potion stuff in here along with all the other stuff that was in here. But anyway, I have a headache because I don't know why I've been building forever and I just wanna like lay down. So I'm gonna end off this recording right here, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Volts Survival Multiplayer Series. Make sure to go subscribe to everybody down in the description below, if I remember, of course. And I guess I will see you guys in the next episode.